Hello everybody, welcome back to the Asus ROG YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing an overview as well as a little bit of a demonstration on another one of Asus's exclusive X79 board related technologies. So the one that we're specifically going to be looking at today is Asus SSD caching. Now as you might or might not know, the X79 chipset in itself does not natively actually support uh, Intel's smart response technology or as it's sometimes referred to SSD caching. But ASUS has gone ahead and implemented a hardware and software exclusive solution on our motherboards that allow you, the user, to go ahead and benefit from SSD caching. If we go ahead and take a look here, actually, at our P9X79 Deluxe board, one of the boards that actually features this exclusive design technology, we can actually see here we actually have a sticker on the board that actually will denote to you which two ports to utilize for SSD-based caching. These are SATA 6 g based capable ports. So all that is required is for a mechanical hard drive to be attached. As an example, in the system actually in the background, we actually have a Western Digital 2 terabyte hard drive. And we could go ahead and then connect to such as a uh, 120 gigabyte Force GT SATA 60 SSD, or you could also go something a little bit more conservative, a 60 gigabyte SSD as well. Uh, one of the key benefits of actually our design implementation is that there is no capacity limit. When you're working previously with the SRT design, which was on Z68, Z68 actually was limited up to a 60 gigabyte SSD for its caching purposes. The limitation of that design happens to be that as you utilize the system, you could potentially actually knock out previously cached applications, game loads, different things along those lines. Such large installations as maybe like a game like Rage, which is about 20 gigabytes, uh, can take up that cache space quite immediately. So being able to have the flexibility of not having a limitation on that can be a big plus. So let's go ahead and now actually jump over to the desktop and take a look at actually how easy it is to go ahead and set up ASUS's SSD caching implementation. First and foremost, go ahead and of course get the system up and installed. You install our AIC2 software and then from there you just actually launch our ARC2. Now in our current system, as we noted, we actually have a two terabyte Western Digital Black Series hard drive. And then we also have a Corsair Force, uh, Force 3 120 gigabyte SSD. So all we're gonna do from here is go ahead and click on ASUS SSD caching. Once we go ahead and click on ASUS SSD caching, it will automatically analyze and look at the actual drives present on the system. Now, one of the key benefits is that we don't actually have to make any UEFI changes. On the Z68 platform, you're actually required to actually have RAID set up for SSD case, SSD based caching. For our ASUS X, uh, X79 implementation, none of that's required. You essentially can just make sure, install your operating system, have the software available, and as long as these two drives are connected, you're good to go. Uh, even the actual SSD does not actually even need to be partitioned or formatted. We'll take care of that for you the entire process through. So as we can see here, we actually have our hard drive detected, and here we actually have our SSD detected. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually just click the caching now button, this will go ahead and let us know that actually any information that's currently on the actual SSD volume will be wiped out and it will actually automatically begin the actual casting process. So it's very easy to go ahead and actually take advantage of this technology. From here, the actual cache will be actually developed and from there, we can go ahead and actually get the immediate benefit of taking the SSD based performance and amalgamating that with the large capacity of our two terabyte hard drive. The most immediate areas where you're going to see improvement are going to be in boot performance as well as overall general read performance, which is what you do most on your system. And what we're going to do next is take a look at some of the actual benchmarks at how ASUS SSD caching can improve your performance. Okay, so we can see here that actually our custom application in ASUS SSD caching has gone ahead and actually completed the initialization successfully. So that means that we now actually have our amalgamated SSD and our actual mechanical hard drive so that we have an enhanced system performance. As we noted before, well, what does that benefit us? We can benefit from not only faster boot times, but also faster general system performance. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually open up this application Boot Racer, and we're gonna go ahead and see first initially what the mechanical performance looked like, where here we can see we actually have a couple of different results. And one of the disadvantages of a mechanical hard drive is that while it can be fairly consistent, you can get some irregularity in terms of the boot performance time frame. So we can see here we've got uh, boot performance ranging from about 48 seconds to about 38 seconds, depending on a couple of different parameters of the mechanical drive. So what we're going to go ahead and do is now run it under this SSD cache configuration and see what our results come out to. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and actually take a look at now the actual increase in uh, 
overall performance that we can get from actual ASUS SSD caching. As we previously showed, we had our actual mechanical storage performance, which we can see here ran between 48 seconds all the way up to about 38 seconds. And we can actually see with our actual SSD caching configuration, our actual boot times drop down to anywhere between 22 seconds to 28 seconds. So we had a significant drop in the overall amount of time that it took our system to actually boot. So what we're gonna go ahead and actually now do is actually do a real time demonstration of this. So we've gone ahead and utilized here Boot Racer, and we're gonna go ahead and just have it log this information and we'll go ahead and compare that once again to our maximum or the minimum of our actual boot performance previously, which was between 48 to about 38 seconds. So let's go ahead and launch through the process and see what happens. Okay, so now that that run has gone ahead and completed, we'll go ahead and take a look at the finalized results. And we can see that once again, we had an actual overall boot time of about 28 seconds. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the way that the cache architecture works is, is that the more process cycles it goes through, it actually consider, it optimizes the actual cache uh, structure and location file system. So with that, we know that we're actually going to get improved performance as we continue to utilize the system and let the actual cache continue to develop. So one other last area that we're going to take a look at is going to be general system performance. But general system performance, we're going to go ahead and actually use PC Mark 7 as an indicator. And one of the most key areas where we see a change in going over to an SSD cache configuration is in start application performance. So we're going to go ahead and see what the numbers were on our mechanical volume setup without ASUS SSD caching and what it looks like with ASUS SSD caching. So we have our previously run results here. So we can see that we have an actual overall score of 2,338. And one of the key aspects that we want to look at is starting application performance, which is approximately 4.5 megabytes a second. Now, all of these are very important in terms of antivirus scan, importing pictures, video editing, and a number of other, other general usage models that you have when you're just utilizing your system day in and day out. So what we're now going to go ahead and do is take a look and see what type of increase ASUS SSD caching offers us. Okay, so we've gone ahead and completed our new run of PC Mark 7 with the ASUS SSD caching configuration. So we're going to go ahead and take a look and actually see what our new score is compared to our previously run single mechanical volume score. So we can see right here we have a score of 4,229. Significantly higher overall system storage performance score than our single mechanical volume. So let's go ahead and bring that up just for reference. So we're gonna go ahead and launch our actually previously run mechanical run here. So we can see here, we had a previous run of 2,338 versus now our new score of 4,229. So a huge increase. And once again, what we wanna take a look at are just a couple of key parameters. Such thing as Windows Defender, which is the integrated actually uh, malware tool built into the operating system, overall scanning performance, we see it's essentially doubling the performance here um, from 2.26 to now 5.27 megabytes. Or starting application performance, we've gone from 4.50 megabytes to now a start application performance of 34.64. So overall, we can see that across the board, we have an increase in overall system performance with this ASUS SSD uh, caching technology, which is really easy to set up. Now what makes things even more interesting and stay tuned for in another cool video is going to be taking it even further and taking advantage of our 8DIM design with RAM cache and RAM disk configurations.